We're getting new reaction tonight to the firing of UW La Crosse's Chancellor, Dr. Joe Gao. The decision was made unanimously by the Board of Regents as the former Chancellor was discovered to have created explicit adult videos with his wife that were then posted online. Mary McCarr shares reaction from former UW Regents and Dr. Gao on his termination. In a statement, UW System President Jay Rothman called Dr. Joe Gao's actions abhorrent and causing reputational harm to the universities of Wisconsin. But Gao says he was simply utilizing his First Amendment right to free speech. The now former chancellor was hired in 2007 and was the longest serving member in the university system. This all came to light when he and his wife created a YouTube channel called Sexy Healthy Cooking that featured cooking vegan dishes with adult film stars. The couple also posting explicit content on OnlyFans, Pornhub, and other adult sites. We don't identify ourselves we, as being affiliated with the university or my role as chancellor. Those things are done as private citizens. Gao spoke on WTMJ radio this morning, expressing concerns that his rights to free speech were violated by his termination. Certainly, I, I'm very concerned about that and will look into my legal options. So I think the board is not upholding a the First Amendment, nor is it upholding its own policy on academic freedom. I brought the question of Gao's firing to former UW board regent Tim Higgins, who served from 2011 to 2018. Do you agree with the decision that was made to terminate him? Yes, I do. Higgins says the issue on the table isn't one of free speech, but of a contract breach. I believe that Dr. Gao does have uh, First Amendment rights. That is certainly the case. Um, but as a chancellor, he also signs a contract with the university. They said, look, your contract, you said you would act in a way that was a credit to the system. Uh, and uh, you didn't. You may remember Gao was under scrutiny back in 2018 for inviting an adult film star to speak as a guest on UW Lacrosse's campus. That decision resulted in him losing his raise that year. While he's been immediately removed as chancellor, the board is also requesting the university look at and possibly revoke his status as a tenured professor there as well. In the newsroom, Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News.